What is up everybody? I'm back. It's been a long time. I'm sorry for not posting anything. As a lot of you know, I was in Korea for the whole month of July. I just got back a couple weeks ago, but I've been super busy because I leave for college tomorrow. So I haven't had a lot of time to edit or do anything really, and so I apologize for that. I also hope you guys don't mind. I'm back again with my Makeup Bliss in bed reaction videos because like it's been established, all these comebacks happen at 11 p.m. and I'm a very busy person and so I like to go to bed at reasonable times. Anyways, we're a couple minutes away from day six's comeback and I was really bummed that I couldn't record my reaction to the August comeback because I had a lot to say about it and now this one's going to be a continuation of it. I guess to kind of fill you in on my perspective of what can I do, for me, I thought it was very clear that Sungjin liked the girl, the girl was Jay's friend, Wampil was Sungjin's wingman, and the girl liked Youngkae. And then everyone liked Doan, of course. If that's what it was, it was very clear for me. I was very aggravated at the ending because poor Sungjin, I felt so bad when I saw when the camera panned out. I wanted to scream a little bit. I think I actually did make some noises. I was pretty, I was pretty frustrated. And also, because this comeback is super close to Day 6's second anniversary, I'm so excited about that. I did wear my Day 6 shirt today. Um, gotta represent the boys. And as far as my opinion is going so far with the teasers and everything for this comeback, I'm excited. I know no matter what, this song is going to be beautiful. I can already tell it's going to be a gorgeous, amazing song. I really enjoy Day 6's diversity, and so as much as I would like to see more of that stuff. It's nice to have a nice mix of everything, really. That's one of the things that makes Day 6 so great, is the fact that they can do so many genres and so many styles, and they do. And also, in regards to the teaser, I will throw it out there now. I don't know what it is about Jay's look right now, but it's really nice. I normally don't really like the no glasses look. I prefer him with glasses because I think it makes his face look cuter. I usually don't like any kind of bleached really light blonde hair and so right now this with this era Jay is doing all of the looks that I don't like but for some reason he looks so good right now okay well the video is now out so I will stop rambling now and I'm just gonna go ahead and do this let's get it my favorite boys come back I loved you Oh, I like the whistles cute. Find find the anime main character. Oh, bye. Where? Oh. I thought he was just gonna walk out of the room. I was like, where are you going? Look at that math. She's so pretty. I'll be real. Good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Look at it. Look at how cute. He looks so soft and fluffy and it's such a precious look. Look! Okay, they're focused. Oh, get him. Kill him. Get him, boy. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> I 
I know it's really sad, but I'm, I'm smiling a lot because it's so precious. And one post tiny wingman. Co tiny wingman. Dawn looks really cute in this comeback too. I like this the hairstyle on him. Like a monkey, there you go. <sighs> Slingin, you were supposed to make the moves. His vocals are so nice. After the girl, yes, yes, get it, boy. Yes, yes. No, what? No, <laughs> you can't. Did you just cliffhanger? Wait, oh no, what? Hopefully, you dropped your. It ends there? That's even worse. I was about to say you can't end it on a cliffhanger and then I thought they were gonna surprise me and then they just ended it with a second cliffhanger. What? See that was what I was confused with in the teaser as well was why there was so much wampa focus and why he looked so sad. Because for me what I got from the first part was that Wampil was sung as a wingman and so now I don't understand why Wampil's so upset. I was joking around with my friends a bit saying that I loved you was gonna be Wampo song to Sungjin. He's doing too good of a job as a wingman and he's he's losing his bro. But honestly, I just don't know. I don't know what to say. I feel like I understood the first video very well. This one, I'm not sure. So that's up for the concepts. Uh, the song itself, I mean, we're just being hit again with another nice ballady song. It was pretty day sexy. Um, it's very hard to pin down day six's genre because they do so many different things. But I think this was very, very day six. Visually and aesthetically, it looked very nice. So I really liked seeing a, kind of the night life and then the arcade. Physical appearances of the members. I really liked Dolan's hair. And like I said earlier, Jay looks really, really cute. I can't, I don't know what it is specifically about this look, but he just looks a lot softer and like very happy and friendly. And it's, uh, when he smiles, I smile. And so it's very positive for me. Young K, I don't like bangs that are cut above the eyebrow. Uh, he pulls it off pretty well. Young K pulls off most hairstyles very nicely, but it's definitely not my favorite hairstyle that he's ever done. But I actually do like the dark hair on him. Wampil just always looks very good and very clean. And so this was another one of those situations. There wasn't anything too different about what he looked like, but it was still a very crisp and good look. And then Sung Jin also looked very friendly, kind of like Jay, where I think it's just the softness of his eyes, but I, I also found Sungjin to look very friendly. And so all in all, I thought they all looked really nice. The song was really gentle and nice to listen to. I can't wait to hear the second song on the album. And I really hope that the October comeback is a third part to this. And I hope that that third part connects everything and ties up all the loose ends. Because now, right now, I'm on a cliffhanger and I don't really know what to think about it. But that's just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that stuff. And let me know if any of you guys are going to the Day 6 tour and what location you're going to. If you see me in New York, don't be afraid to say hello. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys, and I will see you all somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs>